Hello everyone, welcome to this new Atlantium Pharma webinar about Redal, which is a versatile reducing agent, as we will see together this afternoon. Just to remind you that uh, we have uh, published uh, several uh, scientific letters on the oxidizing agent, but none on the reducing agents. In 2005, we uh, published a scientific letter on ABX. You have the structure of this uh, oxidizing reagent, which is also the precursor of the desmartin periodidane, another well-known oxidizing reagent. And in uh, 2012, we uh, published another scientific letter, this time on Tempo, which is this compound with this uh, stable nitroxyl radical moiety. These uh, two scientific letters, like all the others, are available on open access on our website at this address. So you have on this uh, slide, the summary of the various uh, points concerning Redal, we will discuss through recent examples of uh, application, mainly in medicinal chemistry. So, as it is uh, well known, reduction with uh, metal hydrates is a key transformation in organic synthesis. Lithium aluminum hydride, known as LH, sodium borohydride, diisopropyl aluminum hydride, known as dibyl H, and sodium cyanoborohydride are the most common reducing agents used for the reduction of organic compounds. Lithium aluminum hydride being the strongest reducing agent. Now, sodium bis 2 methoxy ethoxy aluminum hydride, known as redal or sometimes as a vitride. And you have here the structure of this reagent, which is a versatile reducing agent with a reducing power close to that of LH, but maybe slightly lower. Redal was prepared in 1967 in benzene under hydrogen atmosphere from the 2 methoxy ethanol in the presence of sodium aluminum as it is described in this scheme. This reagent was then patented one year later by a Czech chemist. And in fact, it was a, a French patent and you have here the reference of this patent. As we just seen, LH is a strong reducing agent, which unfortunately has important uh, inconvenient issues related to safety, handling, and stability. In addition, as the world demand of lithium increases, the price of LH continues to rise. On its side, Redal presents many advantages. Redal is not pyrophoric. Redal is thermically stable up to more than 200 degrees Celsius and indefinitely stable in solution at room temperature. Unlike LAH, Redal is soluble in organic solvents except aliphatic hydrocarbons. Toluene and THF have been the most used solvents for the reactions with Redal, as we will see in this webinar. Also, the good solubility of Redal is a crucial advantage for applications that requiring inverse addition of hydrates. Redal is, of course, commercially available in 60, 70 weight percent solution in toluene, 
which is uh, roughly 3.1 to 3.5 molar. Now we are going to see the first point of this uh, webinar regarding the reduction of propagenic alcohol derivatives. So, in uh, academic research, when we talk about Redal, we immediately think of stereoselective reduction of propargelic alcohols to their corresponding E-allylic alcohols. This uh, reduction has been widely used, especially in total synthesis of natural products, as we will see in the following examples. From a mechanistic point of view, in the presence of redal, the propargelic alcohols undergo transhydroalumination to form this five member cyclic vinyl aluminium intermediate via an intramolecular trans addition of this uh, aluminium hydride bond to this alkane. This uh, aluminium alkoxide was uh, formed by deprotonation of the OH group by redal with formation of hydrogen. Now this uh, cyclic vinyl aluminium intermediate is reactive towards electrophiles, mainly water, leading to the E allylic alcohols as we just seen, or with uh, Aodide, for example, leading in this later case to the vinyl aodide derivatives, which can be then functionalized, as we will see later on. Now, we have here an example in the course of the total synthesis of bicyclic alkaloids, and in the early stages, this uh, non uh, propargelic alcohol readily accessible in two steps from this uh, commercially available alcohol was treated with an excess of redal in anhydrous THF at room temperature to provide the E allylic alcohol in 89% yield. This later compound was then subjected to sharpless asymmetric epoxidation to give this uh, enantiopure pure epoxy alcohol in 86% yield. In this other example concerning the first steps of uh, the total synthesis of complex marine microcyclic lactones, this uh, propargelic alcohol was reacted with an excess of redal, and this uh, cyclic vinyl aluminium formed in situ was quenched with uh, n iodo succinimide, and you have here the structure of this reagent to give, after uh, treatment of the reaction and purification, this uh, Z hydroxy vinyl howdide in 66% yield on almost 50 gram scale. After protection of this uh, alcohol in this uh, vinyl howdide, this compound was engaged in a palladium catalyzed stereospecific negishi coupling reaction with dimethyl zinc to provide this uh, intermediate with here a full stereo control of this tri-substituted double bond in good yield on almost 20 gram scale. Now, in the large scale synthesis of uh, LD-calcitol, an analog of vitamin D used for the treatment of osteoporosis in JPN, the previous sequence was applied to this uh, complex propargelic alcohol. Treatment with an excess of redal, followed by addition of uh, ethyl acetate at zero degree 
in order to destroy the excess of the reducing agent did not, not have, did not sorry affect the stability of the cyclic vinyl aluminum intermediate which was then quenched with uh, iodine to provide this uh, vinyl iodide in 70% yield on one kilogram scale. Then the palladium catalyzed intramolecular egg coupling reaction afforded the six exocyclized Z diene in excellent yield on almost one kilogram scale. In this elegant sequence, you are able to construct this uh, cyclohexyl ring by forming here this carbon-carbon uh, single bond between these two C sp2 carbon atoms with a perfect control of the Z olefin geometry of this uh, isocyclic double bond. And I think it's a very uh, interesting and some amazing sequence to construct such a cyclic uh, compound with a full control of the geometry of the diene here with these two exocyclic double bonds. Also, as we just seen, hydroxyl-directed hydroalumination of this propargelic alcohol led to this uh, cyclic vinyl aluminum intermediate, which was in this case observed by real-time FTIR spectroscopy. After dilution with uh, ethyl acetate at zero degree, the cyclic vinyl aluminum intermediate was submitted to the palladium catalyzed Negishi cross coupling between the three bromothiophen and a vinyl zinc intermediate formed in situ by metal exchange from this uh, aluminum species and the zinc chloride which was added in the reaction mixture. In this three steps, one pot sequence, the desired Z trisubstituted olefin was isolated in 72% yield on 15 gram scale. It should be pointed out that this commercially available catalyst developed by Michael Organ was the most efficient catalyst for this transformation. Now, two more examples to end this uh, section. In the synthesis of vitamin D analogues from this uh, propargelic alcohol, having here this um, enine moiety, the stereoselective partial reduction of this uh, triple bond with a large excess of uh, red oil led to the formation of the corresponding pure EE dienol in good yield. To end this uh, section, you have on this slide one example of reduction with red oil with an homoallylic alcohol. You have here one carbon more between the triple bond here and the OH group. So the ratio and the stereoselective partial reduction of this uh, triple bond of this uh, homopropargelic alcohol gave the corresponding E al homoallylic alcohol in a excellent yield on three gram scale. Presumably via the formation of this six-membered cyclic vinyl aluminum intermediate. It should be pointed out that there are only a few examples of reduction of uh, homopropargelic alcohols with red al described in the literature. But it works like with propargelic alcohols. So it is an interesting methodology 
to do some chemistry on homopropagylic alcohols. Now, we are going to talk about the reduction of esters to their corresponding primary alcohols. For this transformation, Redal is an excellent uh, alternative to LAH as a powerful reducing agent. For example, in the first step of a short and scalable synthesis of the sex pheromone of the horse chestnut leaves minor, uh, which is this uh, small moth, the reduction of this uh, diester to get the corresponding diol was achieved using three equivalent of redal in almost quantitative yield on 600 gram scale. Compared to lithium al aluminum hydride, the workup with the radar is simple. Just around zero degree, add an uh, aqueous HCl solution and do the extraction. Also, it should be pointed out that the byproduct of redal 2 methoxy ethanol, which is formed in the reaction and during the workup, is water soluble and completely removed during the extraction. In this uh, other example concerning the preparation of a, a new antifungal agent, this uh, methyl ester was uh, treated with 1.5 equivalent of uh, redal to give this uh, primary alcohol in excellent yield on large scale. With dibal H, reduction of this uh, carbon nitrogen double bonds on this uh, tiadiazole ring produced large amounts of side products, such as these two. Uh, structure, which were not observed with radar. Regarding the treatment of the reaction mixture on this large scale, once the reaction was complete, the mixture was quenched around zero degrees, first with addition of methanol, and then aqueous HCl solution. For the industrial synthesis of tolterodine, a drug used to treat urinary disorders. For the reduction of this uh, ester intermediate, different uh, reducing uh, agents such as dibal H, LH, and Redal were evaluated in uh, various uh, solvents such as THF, cyclohexane, dichloromethane and toluene under different reaction conditions. At the best, the reduction was carried out with 2.3 equivalents of redal at below 40 degrees in THF to give this uh, primary alcohol in 97% yield on almost 10 kilogram scale. Concerning the workup, the reaction mixture was quenched by slow adding of aqueous HCl solution and extracted with toluene. Now, we are going to talk about partial reduction of uh, ester to aldehydes without, of course, over reduction to primary alcohols. In this context, a large number of, of reducing agents have been reported. Among them, the most uh, popular partial reducing agent is dibal H. Nevertheless, this uh, reagent provides quite often moderate yields and requires cryogenic temperature, mostly minus 78 degrees. So, amine modified redal reducing uh, agent formed in situ by uh, addition of uh, 
stoichiometry common of secondary amine, such as uh, N-methyl piperazine, morpholine, or 2,6-disubstituted morpholines have been reported for efficient partial reduction of esters to aldehydes. As it is uh, presented in this uh, example, treatment of redal with a stoichiometric amount of uh, N-methylpiperazine led to the formation of this uh, deactivated redal and the reduction lead to the formation of this uh, trialdehyde in a good yield from this uh, corresponding triester. In this uh, second example, redal was deactivated with this uh, morpholine. And as you can see, the mono and the dialdehyde were isolated in correct kills from their corresponding mono and diesters. Now we are going to see the reduction of uh, lactones to lactols, which is widely described in the literature with one equivalent of dibial H at minus 78 degrees Celsius. It is also known that the reducing power of uh, LH is modified by introduction of uh, alkoxy groups as it is presented in this scheme. So for chemoselective partial reduction of this lactone into this uh, lactol, the simple addition of a stoichiometric amount of uh, ethanol to redal led to the formation of this uh, less uh, reactive hydride donor. And under these uh, conditions, the proportion of diol byproduct dropped. In this uh, other example, in the field of nucleoside chemistry, the use of trifluoroethanol led to the formation in situ of this uh, modified uh, alkoxide redal derivative. Also, the strong electronic withdrawing effect of the fluorine atoms here reduces the uh, hydrate transfer capability of this uh, alkoxy redal intermediate by reducing the negative charge on the aluminum atom. In this condition, this trifluorinated lactone was chemoselectively reduced to this uh, lactol precursor of nucleoside with an excellent yield. Also in this case, with this uh, deactivated radar derivatives, you have a reaction which is chemoselective because you are able to reduce the lactone into the lactol without affecting the ester function of this uh, benzoate in this position and in the three position in this uh, T THF ring. So now we are going to talk about uh, amide reduction. So amides can be reduced to amines by with a strong reducing agent like uh, lithium aluminum hydride, as it is well described in the literature. But you can also use redal as presented in the following examples. Considering the safety issue related to LH for pilot scale manufacturing for this uh, transformation, alternative reagents were investigated and Redal gave the best results. This uh, amide was treated with 3.1 equivalent 
of Redal in Tolwin at 60 degrees to provide this uh, crude amine in 90% uh, yield with an excellent uh, impurity profile. And the reaction was carried on on the almost 100 scale, 100 gram scale. In this other example, on the synthesis of analogs of uh, antidepressant riboxetine, this uh, marketed uh, drug, this uh, morpholino derivative with here a free hydroxy group was uh, treated with four equivalents of redal at room temperature to give this uh, carol morpholine intermediate in 85% yield. In these uh, last two uh, examples of uh, MI reduction, this uh, lactam was reduced with uh, 2.3 equivalents of redal, and the resulting crude pyrolidine was isolated in 100% yield. In this uh, Last example, the amide function of this uh, heterocycle derivative was reduced to the corresponding uh, amine here, and the pure amine was isolated in modest yield on small scale. Now we are going uh, to talk about uh, reduction of amide in aldehyde. And in general, for this uh, transformation, one immediately thinks of uh, vineweb amides, which are very popular in organic synthesis to avoid the over reduction commonly observed with other functionality. And you have here a general structure of uh, vineweb amide. Nevertheless, Redal can get the job done from simple tertiary amides at lower temperature with less reducing agent as shown in these two examples. Reduction of this carol amide with a 0.65 equivalent of Redal, which is in fact 1.3 equivalent of hydride, at minus 10 degrees, provide after treatment of the reaction mixture with acetone, the desired aldehyde in excellent yield and almost on more than 300 gram scale. From this uh, amide with uh, redal, you certainly get such a uh, stable intermediate that doesn't not that does not form the aldehyde until aqueous workup. In this other example, this uh, tertiary amide was treated at room temperature with 2.8 equivalents of hydride. This is a large excess uh, compared to the previous example. And in this case, the reaction mixture was quenched first with methanol to destroy the excess of hydride, and then with an aqueous solution of HCl to give this uh, aldehyde in 90, 94% yield on 20 gram scale. Cyclic amines are important uh, structural motifs in medicinal chemistry. Also in this context, the full reduction of cyclic amide is an effective tool for their preparations. In this uh, multi-kilogram scale synthesis of this uh, bicyclic amine, for safety reasons and more practical workup, Redal was chosen instead of LH. This uh, bicyclic uh, amide was uh, treated with an excess of redal at 65 degrees in toluene 
and when the reaction mixture was when the reaction was complete, the reaction mixture was added to a concentrated aqueous solution of uh, sodium hydroxide and was further extracted with toluene to provide the targeted bicyclic amine in good yield in 42 kilogram scale. For a scalable uh, preparation of this uh, protected pyrrolidine, the most efficient route was the reduction of this uh, amide with redal. In the first attempt, treatment of this uh, amide with 3.0 equivalent of redal in refluxin toluene led to the formation of the target compound as a major product with this uh, impurity resulting from the under reduction of the starting material. So in this reaction to minimize the formation of under reduced impurities, the amide in toluene was slowly added to a refluxing toluene solution containing four equivalents of Fredal to provide this amine in excellent yield and purity. Nitriles can be converted to primary amines by reduction with Redal, but you have very few examples of this transformation in literature, and it is mostly in patterns. For example, this uh, very indrel nitrile was reduced with uh, redal in refluxing toluene to give this uh, corresponding amine in a modest yield of 53%. In this other example, with this uh, nitrile having this uh, tertiary sensitive uh, alcohol function in benzylic position, which can, be in, which can be eliminated in acidic conditions to form the double bond. Its reduction with redal in the mixture of THF in toluene, followed by a classical workup, gave the corresponding uh, amine in excellent yield. As you can see on this slide with these uh, two examples, it is not surprising that the most uh, used reducing reagent LH gives the best results for the reduction of nitriles compared to redal. From this uh, nitrile with redal, the corresponding amine was obtained in only 15% yield. With LH, on this close structure, the amine was uh, isolated in 82% yield. Now we are going to see the last point of this webinar concerning the reduction of nitriles to aldehydes. Dibel H is a strong, bulky reducing agent which is widely used to reduce nitriles to their corresponding aldehydes under cryogenic conditions via the acidic hydrolysis of the aluminum amine intermediate as presented in the next slide. In this context, Redal is an excellent uh, alternative to dibal H for this transformation. The reaction with Redal can be run under non cryogenic condition as described in this example. Treatment of this commercially available benzonitrile derivative with one equivalent of redal in THF at minus 10 degrees led to the formation of this amine aluminum salt intermediate 
which was then idolized with an aqueous sulfuric acid solution at minus five degrees Celsius. To give this uh, benzaldehyde derivative in 89% yield on 10 kilogram scale. Oh, sorry, I didn't move to the next transparency. Now, in the last uh, example of uh, this uh, webinar, in the total synthesis of plantensimycin, which is this uh, natural product, this uh, advanced indrade nitrile was uh, treated with an excess of Fredal at room temperature for six hours. Then the reaction mixture was quenched with an aqueous sulfuric acid solution at zero degree to provide this aldehyde in excellent yield. So in conclusion, Redal is an excellent reducing agent with many advantages in terms of safety and handling compared to LH. In many reduction reactions on small scale or on large scale, Redal can be an excellent uh, alternative to LH or to Dibal H. In practice, the reduction with Redal are carried out under non cryogenic conditions, and the treatment of the reaction mixture as well as the extraction are simple. So think about Redal. To conclude, I would like to say a few words about our company. We ensure an important uh, scientific watch, in uh, particular with our scientific letters, with our webinars, and with a minute of chemistry twice a month on LinkedIn. Since our creation in May 2004, we achieved more than 2,000 contracts. We have a strong uh, expertise in a synthesis of uh, labeled products, over 250 compounds prepared. We have uh, also a strong uh, expertise in impurities from uh, API. So to contact us, you have here the email and the phone number of uh, Aurelie and Elena, our sales managers. Thanks for your attention. I would like to thank all my colleagues and in particular, our project uh, managers for the discussions during the preparation of this uh, webinar. I would like to thank uh, Aurelie and Elena for the organization of this uh, webinar. A special thanks uh, to Lionel Bidet for all his remarks concerning the preparation of this uh, webinar. So it's now open to the questions. Ah, okay, uh, yes, I didn't mention in my uh, presentation, but uh, Redal is also uh, sold as a synhydrate by uh, Chem, uh, Chematec uh, in, in France. Yeah, that it's, um, it's, it's, it's a problem uh, when you work on the small scale. Most of the time, it's true people use uh, large excess of radar. But uh, if you check carefully the examples uh, on the larger scale, you will uh, see the people try to use, of course, less as possible of uh, radar. And sometimes with one equivalent, it, it's enough. But uh, in general, yes, you know, on the small scale, we always use excess of hydride. Like, of course, with uh, LH, we do sometimes the thing uh, in the same with sodium borohydrate. Uh, 
to the best of my knowledge, I check if it was possible to get uh, radar as a solid, and uh, I just uh, find radar in solution mainly in Todwin. And I don't know effectively if uh, it's possible to get uh, radar uh, uh, as a solid, but I'm sure people from uh, Kematech, you know, know that, you know. Okay, yes, that it's a um, it's important point, you know, because uh, for me, Redal, it's a little bit like uh, Dybal. And uh, there are very uh, few examples of uh, reduction of nitro or azide derivatives described in the literature. Uh, I would say less than uh, 20 in uh, each case. And um, in this uh, example of uh, reduction of um, nitro or uh, azide derivative, the amines were uh, isolated in uh, good yields, but at any time the author explained why they used the uh, radar as a, as a reducing agent. And uh, to my knowledge, there is one example of people uh, use radar to uh, reduce um, an azide in amine, without reduction of the amide function uh, present in the substrate, which was unfortunately the case if you use uh, LH as a reducing agent. Okay, yes, I didn't uh, talk about this point, but I think it's a very interesting uh, point, especially uh, in total synthesis of natural products, where this uh, sequence has been uh, largely uh, used. Uh, yes, uh, you, it, you are able to, um, to reduce, uh, uh, to reduce, sorry, um, what we call uh, allylic alcohol epoxide, with uh, Redal, and that was done by uh, Kishi uh, in 1982. I think he, he published that in the Tetrahedron Letters. And uh, in this case, if you use uh, Redal, you will get only the one tweet diodes with uh, excellent ratio and stereo selectivity. And it's very interesting because with the same substrate, if you use Dibal H, you will get, in this case, the one, two diodes, which is very interesting, you know. And uh, as I just said, this sequence was uh, used uh, sometime in total synthesis of natural product, products. And you have a, such a sequence from uh, uh, alkyne, you are able to prepare uh, proper allylic alcohol, then to use redal to get the E allylic alcohol, use the sharpless uh, asymmetric epoxidation as we see in the beginning of, say, of this webinar. And then, you know, to use uh, uh, once again Redal to get the Carol 1,3 diol. Ah, yeah, it's a... Um, it's, it's always a, a problem when we use uh, LH. It's so always uh, difficult, uh, the, the treatment of the reaction with LH. Uh, now you have uh, the procedure which was uh, published you know, a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember the name of the chemist, but this uh, procedure is uh, in the uh, Pfizer and Pfizer. I think it's a volume one you have to put uh, water and a solution of uh, sodium hydroxide. But even th that, you know, it's, 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 an, it's, it's not so simple. LA, uh, LH, okay, it, it's, as I said, it's not uh, easy, but Dybal, uh, people say it's better when you use a Rochelle salt to, 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 to have a easy workup, you know, and, uh, one long time ago, when I was at the bench, I, I tried 
couple of times the treatment with the Rochelle salt, but it didn't work uh, always uh, in a very efficient way, you know. But in fact, it's very nice with uh, with the red al because just in acidic condition, you don't have the problem uh, of uh, separation of the salt as you have when you work with LAH or with the dibal H. Well, I think my feeling uh, is, uh, as you saw in this uh, webinar, I think when you want to reduce the nitrile uh, to the corresponding primary amine, I think in this case, certainly uh, LH is more efficient compared to radar. Yeah, I um, I saw this uh, reagent because somebody from your company uh, sent me uh, some uh, information, but I didn't know it was a uh, commercial. And uh, when you check the reactivity of this uh, complex between radal and secondary uh, amine, as I presented in my uh, seminar, uh, in some cases, uh, the yield are not so good, and uh, you have a, a work of uh, a Jap a Japanese chemist, I think it was Abe, who uh, say sometimes it's better to add uh, at least one equivalent of uh, potassium terbutyl uh, alkoxide. Because uh, the big problem with, with such a free agent is uh, effectively you, you get the aldehyde, but you have always side products as a primary alcohol, you form also the amide because in, in, in the beginning to deactivate the red al, you are going to use primary, secondary amide. And uh, in a very funny way, at the end, you form a secondary amide and also the corresponding uh, amine. And if you use a, uh, uh, strong base as a potassium uh, terbutyl um, alkoxide, uh, you you minimize the formation of side products in in this application. Yeah, uh, when I uh, start to think about this uh, webinar, I of course uh, check if it was uh, possible to do the same thing with uh, propargelic uh, amines. And uh, in fact, uh, concerning the ratio and the stereoselective reduction of uh, propargelic amines and their derivatives with redal, there are only a few examples described in the literature. And uh, it is uh, rare, I would say, Maybe less than 10 examples, to my knowledge. And uh, in this example, the ratio and the stereoselective reduction of the propargelic amines looks excellent, but always the yield are uh, under 50%. And it is uh, also unclear whether the mechanism of the formation of the corresponding uh, E uh, allylic amides occur by uh, intramolecular, intramolecular hydride reduction via the five-member transition state, as it is the case with uh, propargelic alcohols. Well, uh, I think the, the, the main problem of the, when, when you try to remove uh, aluminum salt, uh, the best way, if 
if, if it's possible, it's to use uh, HCL, you know. And I think that it's a, it's the best way to 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 have a easy workup in this case, you know. But uh, when it is not possible because uh, your uh, product is sensitive to uh, acids, that it's it, it could be a, a problem. You know. But if you use, uh, for example, uh, LH, you have to follow the the, the procedure, you know, uh, to quench the reaction with a uh, uh, very um, precise uh, quantity of water and uh, some sodium hydroxide solution. And sometimes it, 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 it works very nicely. You are just to, to do the filtration of the aluminum salts. Okay, if uh, you have any uh, Further uh, question. I, I, I would like to uh, thank you all for attending this uh, webinar. Uh, if you have any remarks or comments about this webinar, please uh, contact me by uh, email. And uh, I think the next webinar will take place around uh, December, maybe on uh, another reagent or if you have uh, ideas uh, for uh, topics. Please uh, don't hesitate. Don't uh, hesitate to contact us. So uh, goodbye and uh, have a nice uh, summer. <laughs>